Hello friends, it is good to be with you again this week. Here we are a week into October and the beautiful weather continues. I pray you have been giving thanks for the beauty of God's gifts this month. And I also pray that you have been with us in worship at First United Methodist Church in Bella Vista, that you were there this past Sunday. It was World Communion Sunday. And we as United Methodists celebrate with all Christians, not just United Methodists, but Lutherans and Baptists and Roman Catholics and Evangelicals, and not just in the United States, but Christians all around the world gathered in ecumenical oneness. We came to the Lord's table in community and fellowship and faith. I give thanks every day that God calls all of us to community that we come from our own diverse cultures, from our own past experiences, both good and bad, from our own unique places with our own unique gifts. We come to the Lord's table from east and west and north and south. We come as black and brown and white, as male and female, as young and old, as wealthy and as wanting. We are all God's children. Our Holy Creator transforms us and unites us as one family through the love of Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit. In the upper room, Sunday's devotional message was about this. The writer had a college roommate that was from a very different culture than he was. In the act of sharing meals and life together, a transformation happened and the writer saw God's family with new eyes. The scripture the author has chosen is from Paul's letter to the church at Ephesus. I will be reading Ephesians chapter 4 verses 3 through 6. Let me share it with you. Make every effort to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to one hope when you were called, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. Amen. We give thanks for this scripture that Paul has provided in his letter to the Ephesians. The message that is in the upper room is called Table Fellowship, and it is written by Kevin Thomas, who lives in Alabama. Here is what he wrote. Every day when Edwin, my Nigerian college roommate, would prepare his native foods in our kitchen, the house would fill with a distinct aroma that didn't appeal to my American palate. One afternoon, Edwin invited me to share his evening meal. Finding no suitable excuse, I reluctantly agreed. We sat across from each other at the table where Edwin had placed one pot of a soup-like mixture and one plate that held a ball of biscuit dough. After the blessing, Edwin explained, in my country, we eat from one bowl as a sign of friendship. He took a piece of dough, dipped it in the soup and ate the two together. I was humbled that Edwin counted me as a friend and this meal became sacred to me. It reminded me of Holy Communion. One loaf, one cup, one body, one people. Better than ever before, I understood that transformation happens at the Lord's table. God unites people into the body of Christ. This same transformation happens when we sit down to eat with a Sunday school class or share a meal with people who are experiencing homelessness or gather for Holy Communion. Jesus shows up in the breaking of bread. We have the opportunity to invite others to share this meal and around the Lord's table, we will be united as God's family. Please pray with me. Creator God, God of us all, 
You invite all to come as we are to your table. Regardless of our background, our nation, our culture, our past or our current circumstances, you invite us. You invite all to join as one in your love and in your family. Help us, Lord, to extend that invitation to others as well. To invite others to come as they are to your table and to join as one in your community of love. It is in Jesus' precious name that we pray. Amen. Bye, friends. I'll see you next time.